Good afternoon, it's Steve Kaff, 5JUF. We are making some videos today on repeaters. So today I'm going to show you some things I've learned on repeaters, uh, particularly with the uplink tone and the downlink tone and some of the specific settings in the radio, for example, CTCSS. Uh, you also have uh, on the uh, FT300 or FTM300, they call it TN for tone, uh, which basically means uh, you have a tone with your transmission signal. Uh, but if you, there's another setting they have, FTM300D is TSM or TSQ, which is tone squelch, meaning that there is also a code that comes back from the repeater. So, anyway, just some things I was learning, and I'm going to practice for uh, programming a repeater today, and we're going to put one in Sweetwater. The repeater we're going to do is, thanks to repeaterbook.com, is we're going to program W5, Whiskey 5, November, uh, November Charlie Alpha in Sweetwater, Texas. So we are roughly 25 miles from Sweetwater, so I think we should be able to make this repeater. Uh, we just programmed a different one, KC5 NOX. We were not able to reach it, so we scrubbed that video. So back to the radio. We're in memory location right now. And you notice we have a radio spot. We have a uh, repeater in position 10. And what we're going to do, oops, sorry about that. So we're going to go ahead and program the radio. So what we'll do first is we're going to go back to uh, band, enter. We're going to enter the frequency for the repeater, which will be 1, uh, sorry I timed out. The frequency will be 146 dot six eight uh, crap made a mistake here 146 dot six eight zero zero enter now what we're going to do is we have to make sure we're in FM mode so we can access the repeater in the menu and I'm going to press FM list and we're going to set this for ENC since it's only the uplink, uh, the tone is only in the uh, uplink and that we're going to set that for in ENC. Now if we had a tone for both uplink and downlink we would use CTCSS but since we only have an uplink tone to the repeater we're going to use this one right here then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have a negative offset and that's what we have negative offset for the repeater Whoops. and we have our tone set to ENC and then the last thing we have to do is we have to set the actual tone itself so to do that you press the button once and then you turn the multifunction knob here until we get to the repeater and this one is 162.2 so that's that's already set so if we needed to change it we would do that right there 162.net so that looks good and we're going to press memory channel and then we're going to click AM we're going to click AM and we're going to hold AM By holding AM, we are we now populated it in a memory location. So let's go back and let's go to memory location. Make sure it's there. There it is, right there. And we're going to go ahead and press and hold this, and we're going to tag this. And this repeater is W five November. Uh, completely goofed that up. Whiskey five November Charlie Alpha, and we're going to put Sweetwater here. And we may go back and just change that to Sweetwater. Okay, so now let's let's look at our readings real quick. Let's make let's sure we got our our we're negative on the offset. We're ENC, which means we're an uplink tone only, 162.2, .2, 
and our frequency or uplink tone is 162.2. So, with that, let's see if we can hit the repeater. Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot testing. And we were successful at hitting the repeater. So, that's an example of how to program a repeater. So, a couple of things. Um, I'll scroll back over here to the screen. Repeaterbook.com is very good, and you can get this on your phone. Uh, the main thing I just want to show you is this. This is going to be your frequency that you will actually be uh, programming in your radio. And, and then what will happen is when you select negative, it will know to offset it uh, 6 kilohertz. There's your offset. And there's the tone. Now remember I, I showed you the tone. This one only has an uplink tone. So let me show you an example. Remember, if it has an uplink and a downlink tone, none of these have, all of these just have simply uplink tones. And if I pick one in Abilene, for example, this one here, this is one of the ones we have programmed in the radio. It has an uplink and a downlink tone. So what that means here is on this particular repeater we have this one set up to, for CTCSS which means it is able to uh, it's able to send the tone to the repeater on the uplink and then on the downlink our radio is programmed to receive that same tone back from the repeater. So that's how that works. And I'll show you one last thing here. When you have a repeater that has both uh, a CTC or uh, both an uplink tone and a downlink tone, I'll show you what, what you're going to experience on your radio. This particular repeater has only an uplink tone. So if I hit squelch and turn this down, I'm going to get a squelch. But let me show you another repeater that has both an uplink and a downlink so you can kind of see the difference. I'm going to go back to memory channel so I can go back. This is the primary repeater here in Abilene. This repeater on this radio is an uplink and a downlink tone at the same time like I just showed you on the, on the previous uh, computer screen. So if I hit the squelch here, now you notice right here if you look at this, this little speaker will turn on for a second. Well, the reason there's no audio is because your radio is filtering that signal with a tone, so you're not going to get an open squelch. When the repeater transmits back to your radio, it will send that tone which will open up your receiver on your radio. Now let's go back to the Sweetwater video just for a second, or the Sweetwater repeater. Now, again. Here, I need to change channels, press MCH. When I go to the Sweetwater repeater, it only has an uplink tone, but not a downlink tone. So my radio squelch will be open again here. And somebody, somebody keyed up there. So anyway, that's how you that's how you program a repeater. And if I, for example, if I want to go in and change this, there's a couple things I could do here. I could actually go in and just make this whole thing sweet water and this works out pretty good because you know for working uh, we're working different stations and stuff uh, you know this makes it a little easier so that's sweet water and we'll go back and uh, back and then we uh, go back to memory mode uh, again see I'm in squelch mode right now so if you want to change channel just press MCH and now we're back and now we say sweet water okay so that's the video for today a couple of things I will show you one of the things that gets me in trouble and I, I kinda of figured it out but it, if you're going from memory mode which is what we're in now to VFO mode no big deal it's locked right now but one of the things that you can accidentally do is you can accidentally and I did this, you can press this when you're going for the AM button to go to VFO, you can accidentally bump the AM button just below it. And I did this and I kind of went, how did that screen show up? So I kind of went, oh crap, got to go back. So be real careful if you are going from VFO to uh, memory, just 
don't hit the AM. That's what I did. And when I did, this is what I got. I kind of went, how that happen? So anyway, press the VM. Just make sure you put your finger on the right button and you'll be fine. So hope you enjoyed the video. We'll make some more. It's KF5JUF. Have a good day in 73.